It's gonna be fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. It will all be okay. Oh my god. How's your week going? Mine has been absolute sh Yeah. I wasn't able to sleep last night. You know why I couldn't sleep? Because yesterday, I was working on this purification, this new compound that I'm trying to synthesize, and... I basically lost my product. I actually wouldn't say I lost it. It's just all the impurities and stuff came down at the same time. And I did it twice. So that was my whole day yesterday. And I was just like, why? Why didn't it work? And I just kept thinking about it. And literally, I woke up like I think every single hour last night. I woke up at like 2 and then 3 and then 4. And then I texted my lab mate at 4 asking about this purification thingy. So he's going to wake up and see a freaking text from me at 4 a.m. <laughs> Um, just, just another cherry on top. My backpack broke yesterday. I bet it's Hero. I bet it's Hero. He's been like chewing my backpack. So now like I ordered a new one, but like it's not gonna come for another week or so. So I have to just... <sighs> ah! Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. I feel like if anyone ever were to like come into lab and see my bench, I'd be freaking appalled. But this is what I'm talking about. This is just TLC plate of the fractions I call them yesterday. So this is the reference. This bottom one is my compound and these two are, are impurities. And basically this is like before purification and after purification. And you can see they're the same. It means that my column did not work. This is my product. Look how little there is. And this is what I have to work with today to figure out um, how exactly to purify it and what the heck went wrong. I'm calmed down now. I'm just gonna just breathe and take this slowly. This is very little compound to work with, but I think I can manage and try out a column or two maybe. This is science. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. So let's think together, okay? So I'm in this room here. This is where I usually purify my compounds. So the, these are all the solvents that you can choose from. Like there's four here. And then you can set up your like solvent gradient. And then the compound usually comes out here. So let's look at yesterday's results report for the two runs that I tried to do. All right, so this is the first run. So on this axis here is the percentage of methanol as the column fraction increases I increase my gradient to get my compound to come out so this is a gradient of methanol and water it's a reverse phase column and you would think that because I was able to get three nice peaks this green corresponds to this fraction and then blue corresponds to this one and yellow corresponds to this one that they would all be three different things and that made sense because my TLC plate showed three different compounds but they decided to come out at different times so if they're coming out at three different times but they're they're the same thing. What's going on? Okay, so let's look at the other one. Just one peak. You can see that I got like impatient. I just like went up. Yeah, this is my bad. I'm gonna like print these reports now and just think about it. This is the starting material. This is before the column and then this is after the column and then this is like spotting both before and after. This right here is my compound and I don't see much of my compound after columning it twice ah, and I only have 20 milligrams left so I'm thinking it's not worth it to try to column it again but at the same time there's still a little bit there's still a little bit of it left should I just try it there's barely anything here what else am I gonna do with this I should just try to improve my gradient today right screw it let's just do it let's just try okay my column is loaded let's try this again <laughs> So right now it's equilibrating, so it's just running some solvent through my column at a very low percentage of methanol. Once it's done equilibrating, it will just do the gradient and then hopefully collect some stuff down here. Now we just sit here and wait as this is running. All you could do is kind of monitor and cross your fingers that your product comes out. This is always really stress inducing when it's a new compound you've just synthesized and you don't know where exactly it's gonna come out. So it's like, please don't come out in the waste. Please just come out nice and like clean. Please, please, please. 
But you know what's good about working with, with a sample that's already like screwed up? It, it just can't get any worse. Like I've already given up on it. So like it can only get better from here, really. And oh my gosh. <laughs> My lab mate just texted me back answering my question that I sent him at 4 a.m. And he's like, why the heck were you up at 4 a.m.? I don't know either, man. I don't know either. Is this the product? Well, something's starting to come out. I'm taking it really slow and being patient with my compound. I hope my compound is kind back to me and will come out and show itself. Let's just see, eh? It didn't work. It's fine. Now there's really nothing left for me to work with, so I have to resynthesize everything. I expected this. At least I tried, right? It just hasn't been a good day. I'm tired and I don't know what's going on. When things get rough, you just gotta leave it for a little bit. Let's hope tomorrow's better. Good morning. Guess what we are doing today? Yesterday was an absolute gong show and I plan on redeeming myself today. I'm just making more starting material for my other failed reaction. Or actually the reaction didn't fail, the purification process failed. But I'm hoping today is just better in general. Yesterday I had a dentist appointment and so like had to leave campus and stuff. Because I live on campus, I didn't even realize how long it's been since like I've left campus. I've been feeling very like I've been feeling like I've been running on a hamster wheel and just day in day out just like rushing to lab and then rushing home and then rushing to lab and then rushing home and it's just been like a cycle I just feel so focused right now which is good but it's getting a little bit too much because I'm dreaming about my reactions I'm dreaming about my future because I'm like having this like internal debate about what I want to do after for another time and every waking minute I'm thinking about my experiments I used to have photography as kind of like my you know distraction to like take a breather from, from my research we can't shoot anymore or it's not safe to do so um, just for recreational purposes so YouTube is my next thing but then I feel like if anything making videos has been enabling me to like think even more about my research i'm just hoping that this weekend i can like recharge and not think about my experiments or my thesis or anything but yeah i guess when you're really into something and you put so much into it i think maybe it's just natural for it to consume you and for me like i get consumed really easily so and another point is like we're in the middle of a pandemic but like just the fact that i can go into work and my research hasn't been like compromised or anything like i'm grateful for that it's fine i guess if, if my main focus right now is my research it's just i guess what i'm most concerned about is like the cleanliness of my mind like it's always worrying around like i don't feel like i get like a decent break anytime and from my experience like this is how you get burnt out is if you feel like you're always on i think i have to find other ways to like feel relaxed and to like remove myself from my research for at least a day or two a week it's hard to not let your research define you as a grad student definitely i acknowledge that and i guess the first step to recovery is acknowledging that right <sighs> just some thoughts while i'm waiting for my my compound to come out hopefully. I really need a win today. It's been a crappy couple of days where my experiments just haven't been cooperating. So please give me a win today. So I guess I never even like explain what the heck I'm doing right now. I'm doing column purification. I've finished my reaction and the reaction isn't pure. Usually there's like side products and stuff. And these things are called TLC plates. Thin layer chromatography, they're lined with silica. My reaction mixture will have the different components will run up the plate at like different times depending on their chemical properties and so that's how like we can identify how many unique compounds there are in like a reaction mixture and because we want to isolate one compound we know at what point it's going to come out based off of its uv absorbance so then uh, we can use a column with different uh, solvents to isolate this compound by itself so this this is what it looks like 
so basically like this is the UV absorbance this is one compound this is another compound and like I'm thinking that this is my compound that I want to isolate just because like I know its chemical properties and stuff so now they're in solution in different fractions but so this system is able to like separate each fraction based off of what it thinks is like a unique different chemical so now I just have to go and like spot these fractions and make sure that I'm like collecting like this peak and not like this peak and I'll get it like mixed up together that was like a really quick explanation I don't know if that made any sense to anybody at all let's just check to see if I got my compound <laughs> I just labeled the fractions, so now let's check it. So I'm going to spot the reference, which is just a crude product. I'm going to compare the peaks that were before I columned it. And then now I'm going to go and check these fractions here. This part is really cool because I can use this UV lamp here. Kind of like lights up pink where the spots are. And then basically after I run it through the solvent system, then the spots will move up and I can circle them. <laughs> And then just from the side, you can see that like the solvent line is slowly moving up. And then once it reaches the top, then we can check with our UV lamp where the spots are. It's almost done. Get that out. Let it dry a little bit. Put another plate in with the other fractions. So, big reveal. Let's see. Okay, so this here is the crude product so this is the impure product and this is the spot that I want to collect so these two look good and then it starts to get a little dirtier with another spot here at this fraction so I'll only collect between these two points I guess yeah yay but at least it's like uh at least I got some right so this is my product I'm going to go remove the solvent now and yeah I have a whole day of experiments planned. Not sure how much I'm gonna record, but if not, I'll see you later. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good.